the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus is about to leave his disciples, and they are troubled, they are sad. And he tells them, do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God, have faith also in me. I'm going to my Father's house, but I'm, come, I'm going to come back to prepare. I'm going to come back and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. So this, this gospel reading a lot, oftentimes is read at um, funerals. And at funerals, I, sometimes people are really grief-stricken. They, um, they, are, they are sad um, and um, dis distraught. Um, other times there is really faith. There, I, I see faith, I see peace, uh, I see surrender. Um, so, there, so there are a couple types of reactions to death. We may fear death, we may try to cling to this life, we may let it um, you know, devastate us, or we can have faith, faith in Jesus that this life is temporary, that it's passing, that ultimately the next life is what truly counts, that's eternal. And if we have faith in Jesus, then we shouldn't be so worried about the next life. We shouldn't really fear death. Jesus says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith, trust. And, um, so, and then Jesus says that he is the way, the truth, and the life. So if we believe in him, we have faith in him, he is the way to the Father. He is the way to eternal life. And uh, follow, to follow him, to follow his teachings, to obey him, to be faithful to him. And he is the way and he is the truth. Everything he reveals to us is, is the truth. The truth about who God is, who we are, and what the meaning of life is, and, 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 and so on. And, and he is the truth, the truth of eternal life. And then the, he is the life, right? He is the way to eternal life. So if, if we are so grief-stricken, if we are so fearful, we kind of uh, rob ourselves of this life now, right? We, when we live in fear and, and stress and, and anxiety, then we don't have this fullness of life that he wants to give us. So those who have faith live with joy, with peace, with surrender knowing that this life is temporary, that it's passing, and that the next life is prepared for us, and that we have faith in Jesus, we have nothing to fear. We thank you, Jesus, for reminding us that this life is temporary, and not to let our hearts be troubled, but to have faith in you, and that uh, if we follow you, then we, you will lead us to the Father. Help us to be faithful to you, help us to know you, and to trust in you and that you are giving us that eternal life, um, even now, and its fullness in the life to come. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.